Hello everyone, and welcome back to another Nintendo Fan video. I am here to dissect the trailer that just came out for the new Animal Crossing uh, update that is coming on the 28th. So I'm recording this on the day it came out, and I have already seen it and processed my thoughts a bit. But I want to get in, do it shot for shot, and I, again, I haven't written a script because I'm trying to get this out as soon as possible. So we're just going to kind of analyze it a little bit, and I'm going to talk about my thoughts um, just as a little preview of what I think of it, I'm very conflicted because I like what I see. I don't think I'm seeing enough. Um, so let's get right into it. So we see, of course, the shot being January 28th, and we see immediately February 15th is festival. Nothing else, just right into that, which makes sense. Um, so we see Pave in this little kind of setup with an archway and a stage, which I think looks quite nice. Uh, and then all of the other animals are in these special outfits and such uh, that look really cool. There's different colors, it appears. And the town hall's even uh, dressed up a little bit. We can see that they have some special string uh, stringers, streamers, and then some speakers that I think may be new on there, and a little kind of uh, little strings hanging down uh, over the main building, which I think is nice. It's not overdone. We see Pave dancing right there, which is just great. I like to see that. It's funny. Um see the villagers partying a bit then we cut to the uh, main character I guess of this update walking forward and you know just as Pave the dancer arrives again we haven't really seen much more but we talk to him uh, and he's, he's got some cool dialogue I like kind of the precociousness of him and we're, we see that we're supposed to catch different colored feathers flying around and proceedingly give them to Pave uh, presumably we're supposed to give him multiples perhaps of different colors to get certain furnitures, furniture pieces. Pave feels so very Pave. Um, so yeah, we see Pave dancing, which again is just hilarious. It's great. Um, so then, yeah, I'm looking through this. Sorry, it's taking a bit more. Then there's this big burst of that color feathers. And we see these four characters um, go to this section where you see all of the furniture that you get. And this is why I feel conflicted. I don't think there's enough in the update because it's just best of all. But look at this. I'm going to dissect this a little bit more later. It's fantastic. Oh, man. Okay, but we'll, sorry. We'll keep going. They take a picture, um, which I think looks really nice. And then it shows us there's a free update scheduled for March. Um, and now all it shows us here is some a star and a mushroom, which I'm hoping means that they're going to have something else substantial in this update because we've heard that in March we're going to get some Super Mario furniture, and so presumably that's what this is. But um, I don't know. I hope that it's something more than that because it's really – I can't – that's not going to sustain uh, if we just get the festival holiday update now and then March. It's just that. I really think we need some more features, but uh, I'm not really going to worry about that right now. The main thing I want to dissect here, since there's really not much we see in this trailer, um, is that I think there's four different colors of feathers. It looks like there's red, green, um, kind of purplish pink, and blue. And so when we first see them running, we actually see there's like a red um, version there. And the reason, um, again, the reason I'm so feeling so controversial about this is that uh, this furniture looks amazing. It looks absolutely great. And as opposed to most of the furniture uh, that you get from holidays, where I feel like it can really only be displayed during that time frame, this is more, like, kind of seasonless. Like, you could display it all the time. Um, so there's a few notable things here. First of all, just the general outfits. We see that you can get a dress and the headdress, um, and as well as, so th as, well as like, pants, um, I think shoes and the kind of special jacket in all colors, I believe. It looks like because there's the same being displayed in two colors. So it looks like you will be getting those. And then in general furniture, we have these little lanterns right in the front by the hedges, which look great in my opinion. Um, what looks to be some drums in the background or at least a little stand with some stuff on it. The floor lights are actually already in the game. We see a little kind of standing target spot right in the middle. I don't really know what that's going to be called. Some leaning parasols, which again, I think look great. Um, in the back, we do see you unlock kind of a little strings. Um, a confetti launcher, a confetti cannon, which I think just is amazing. 
Um, sorry, I'm trying to look at this a bit more. In the back, we see kind of little, like, um, banners, I guess you would say, you would call them, um, in green color. There's a tiki bar to the left, which I am so excited about. Cannot overstate that. That's going to be amazing. This is just such a tropical feel. I feel like I could decorate all my beaches with this. It's great. And then we have those really high-hanging balloons, which I'm also looking forward to some uh, more displayable balloons. But yeah, and then we zoom in, and we see there's the picture there. And the other note, thing of note here is that it looks like there's four new reactions. Unless I'm mistaken, these are all new reactions or dances that we are most likely going to learn from Pave during the event. So I'm so excited for all this. Presumably all of this furniture is customizable, and that's why it's available in four colors. At least that is what I hope. I hope that we don't have to unlock all that separately. Um, I am really not sure how this is going to go, because it's so much furniture. Um, it, it, I figure it has to be do-it-yourself or something, or otherwise, I don't know. The one problem I have with this is that the event actually takes place on a weekday. I checked. It's on a Monday. So I don't know how people are going to have time to complete this event, but it does look a lot better, I think, than the ones we've seen more recently. I thought Halloween was a little kind of, I mean, it was good, it, and I thought all the holidays recently were good, but I think Toy Day lacked a bit of substance, so this fixes that. Turkey Day was uh, a little grindy if you didn't look up guides, uh, um, which I'm hoping that that's not what this is. At least it won't be impossible. You can, it's very straightforward, I suppose. And then in October, um, I, I enjoyed Halloween. I enjoyed Halloween, but I think there could have been some more special items that you get but anyway yeah there's really not too much to dissect here it's coming out on the 28th but um yeah that's that's uh that's about it so i really hope that the march update contains some new features or new mechanics um but i am really looking forward to all the stuff that comes out in this update my main gripe is that there's nothing until february 15th which is a little annoying but nevertheless, we will have to move on. And really quick, I do want to give a note. Be on the lookout next Monday, because I am actually coming out with a video about some up some updates or some new features that I would like to see uh, in Animal Crossing New Horizons in the future. So yeah, other than that, I hope you enjoyed this video, and have a great day.